All right, so what's up, YouTube? It's the Knights nice here, back with another video, and this is a video about how all weakness must be destroyed. It must be destroyed. Now look, right. One thing I noticed is that, like, they say, like, if you lazy in one area of your life, it drags over, and that's why discipline is really needed with trying to improve your life. Like when you disciplined in one area it needs to go across the board you know because uh, let's be honest if i say most people even myself i fail at this a lot and i'm getting better at it not but you try to you're doing good in one area but you allowing this one area to slack and be behind let's because let's say you just lazy you just don't want to do it and it's kind of crazy how let's say the deeper you go into meditation it's like you know the deeper your mind really goes and really splits like let's say this let's take it's it's crazy how much micro language goes on between you and your mind and your behaviors and your thoughts like it's almost like your thoughts your body how you feel are like different people and you see how incongruent they all are like it's never like on one accord we all gonna do this and it's it's, it's never harmonious like let's say for example, right? Let's say in my mind, I want to do, I want to, I want to be great. But let's say how I feel is like I don't want to be great. And then my behavior is like I said, I want to be great for two seconds, but then I'm like, fuck that, I don't want to do it. And it's like when I do that, it's reinforcing in my mind that I'm not as great as I as I want to be. And it's it's just kind of crazy how like, your mind interacts that way, like. And it's kind of, let's say, even for example, let's say associations. Like, let's say, I'm, I'm not kind of going on a tangent, but let's say your bed, right? If you're doing schoolwork inside your bed, you're bound to fall asleep doing that schoolwork. So that's why you should always do schoolwork in a specific area. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get at is that your mind make associations. So let's say you giving up on something. Your mind is, you literally building your mind stronger to give up on something. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like you you're you're building your resistance to doing something that you need to do. And it's allowing for you to become more lazier with things that you need to do. Like it's like when you give up on yourself, when you tell yourself, oh, like, no, nah, I don't need to do this, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do this. It's like you allowing the resistance to win. And that resistance is only gonna make it worse and harder for you to get up and really accomplish what you need to accomplish. That's one thing I noticed, like, whenever I be like, well, I can push this off until so-and-so and so, it's like it make it worse when I'm trying to make it happen. Like right now, if I get like a burst of empowerment and just energy, I'm like, I need to do this. And I'm like, it's just making more durable for me to do. And that's when you need to realize that you need to push past that initial feeling of just like, I don't want to do this. It's initial feeling of weakness. This initial feeling of like, damn, like I don't want to do this shit. Because the second that you do that, it's like the second that everything it's like you building your you like it's like you building your enemy army for you to lose. Like it's 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 crazy how quick it happens too. So that's what I'm saying, like all weakness must be destroyed. Like any type of weakness, whether it's distractions, whether it's, you know, just wastefulness, whether it's lust, it could be anything, like any type of any type of weakness, it must be eradicated. I about to say this. Take it to allow that weakness to, you know, linger and, you know, build up. It's going to attach to another part of your life that it doesn't need to be in. Like, think about lust. Let's say lust for like a, a general weakness for, let's say, most men around. Most men are not in control of their lust. For the most part, I am in control of my lust. I'm not just going around hitting everything I see walking, but like I said, my lust can be more under control. Like I said, and I try to use that lust as like a carrot. Well, I try to use, let's say, the feeling of that as a carrot to move me around to where I need to go. And that's how I use, that's usually how I operate. But most men or just most young boys don't even think like that. They just wanna, wherever they feel, wherever they feel. I think they, and I think Mr. Lewis, Farrakhan was speaking about how a lot of men just like to, they pleasure seek. Just because that's, you know, it's comforting. 
and it's like men shouldn't really be seeking comfort just because I'm about to say it's just the societal expectations and I think that's the healthy societal expectations but young men have is that they shouldn't be comfortable especially if some of them really got goals of being who they really want to be life isn't going to be that comfortable life isn't going to be welcoming to you especially in the beginning stages that you got to fight through a lot of bullshit and if you don't, like I said, you're just not going to become successful and it's going to be your ass. Like, literally, that's sometimes the conversation I be having in my own mind is that if I don't ever get over, like, my weaknesses and whatever I lack at, it's like I'm going to be in the same spot. And the funny thing about it, you don't want to be in the same spot, but you don't want to work. And maybe that's just a, a side effect of, you know, the, the, the way I was nurtured. So, but, you know, you just got to find a way around that shit. But not to go too far off the lust point you realize that if you can't control your lust you know think about all the other things you can't control like your urges let's say your spending urges just trying to keep up with people just trying to keep up with you know let's say even a girlfriend like the thing about like even let's say for me for example like i said i was cool when i was not worrying about no girls like even in fucking at middle school, I was like a fucking geek. I wasn't a geek geek, but I'm just like, you know, I wasn't worried about girls. I was still fucking around playing with toys in middle school. But as I got older, and let's say when I got a girlfriend, I had savings built up. I ran through my savings just because I was just trying to have fun with my girl. And it, of course, that was undisciplined of me. It was lazy of me. It was just ignorant of me. And now I'm backtracking, trying to fix that up. And of course, you live and you learn. I won't ever do that shit again. I'm not saying that it was like, you know, it was it was more not saying I'm not I'm still with the girl but it's just like you know it's just like a it's a uh, it's goofy like I said it's a waste of your time and resources in the sense of like structure it's like it it proves how much you it proves and shows you how much you still need to learn with your life. It's it's a it's a mere reflection of your habits, your bad habits that you have. When you can blow through the ad like six thousand, and this is in twenty twenty. Of course, that's not six thousand, not the real money, but just for me being eighteen and I'm like busting my ass to two jobs, it's kind of crazy that I blew through that. But that's what I mean by weakness must be destroyed. You cannot allow those type of things to happen, and you know, and do shit out of luck, you know. So yeah, so when I mean all weakness must be destroyed, I mean all of it. Even the thoughts, you gotta make your mind that ally. You cannot allow your mind to take you places does it, that it doesn't need to be. You must strengthen your mindset. Like I said, your mindset has to be iron. Like it has to be strong. It has to be unbreakable. You gotta build an unbreakable will. You gotta heal yourself. Like literally, you have to heal all those negative aspects of yourself that's always trying to hold you back. All those negative aspects that's trying to pick at you and just drag you down because that's what it's meant for. It's meant to drag you down back to these low vibrations that you don't need to reside in. Because all it does is it allows you just to, to live in comfort. And by the time you know it, you're going to be 50, I'm about to say, and suffering. Like, I think that's one thing. I fear a lot of suffering. I, 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 I can't accept the idea of suffering. At 50, I can take the suffering right now because I'm young and I realize that's just a part of the journey. But at 50 years old, just with my own trajectory, I understand people's lives be different and and people's lives go down go down different streets and avenues and fucking boulevards and shit like that. But mine, when I had and I was intelligent enough to notice it, where I had enough awareness to be like, damn, this is what's going on in the social climate, and I still decided to do something stupid. I can't accept that. I ain't gonna lie. I no distract, but I'd rather kill myself than that. I did to, 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 to live in existence where I seen all this shit happening and I did nothing to do about it. That's just real. So yeah, all weakness must be eradicated. It must be fixed. All trauma must be healed. Cause if you don't. Like I said, it's just going to keep cycling through your life over and over and over again. And nobody likes cycles. Like I said, people, you just got to get tired of just going through the same shit over and over again. I know I do. It's just lame. There's no point to it. It's it's a waste of time and energy. It's, it's even a waste of fucking awareness how many times some people may have to keep going through the same things over and over again. 
and think about even just think about it in, the, in the greater scale how people like have past lives like how they they literally fail in every past some people fail in every past life and they got to keep doing the same thing over over and over again that shit is draining it's lame i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy i would pray that they do the best they can to learn their lesson and go about their business you know going to the next mission going to the next level going to the next you know concept to grasp and learn so yeah if y'all like the video like comment subscribe and i will see y'all next video thank you